and welcome to Light in the Darkness, our daily devos. Welcome this morning. So good to have you with us. Let us know where you're watching from. It blesses us. So this morning, I'm going to be sharing with you, and I had something on my heart to share this morning, and it's literally this line right here. Don't be so hard on yourself. I really am finding in this season, we're all stressed. We're all in the same boat. It's all heavy. But I find we're putting ourselves under so much pressure. We're being hard on ourselves. We're trying to hold ourselves to the same thing we were doing and striving for before lockdown. And we're doing the same thing in lockdown. But the pressure is extra. It's heavy. It's there. It's real. And I I really just wanted to say to you, stop being so hard on yourself. Stop it. Stop it. God is with you. He's with us. And He is working it out. But I think it's so easy to go back into works and flesh. And I know we've spoken about this many episodes, but I think it's something that we need to be constantly reminding ourselves. And I want to remind you the word that was spoken over this year in Zechariah. It says, not by might, not by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord. And I really believe God knows what we were going to face this year. And He knows we are not going to get through this by the works of our hands, by our efforts, by us striving, but by the spirit of the Lord, by us resting in Him, by us leaning into Him. And he's already given us that instruction for this year. And I also had this other scripture in Jeremiah 17 that I I wanted to read you today. And it's actually quite a strong scripture, but you just need to be reminded when you feel like you're striving, when you feel like you're stressing to make it happen, to make it work, take a step back. And it says this, this says the Lord, cursed is the man who trusts in man, in flesh, and make flesh that makes flesh his strength, whose heart departs from the Lord. For he shall be like a shrub in a desert and shall not see when good comes, but shall inhabit the parched places in the wilderness, in a salt land which is not inhabited. But blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord and whose hope is in the Lord. For he shall be like a tree planted by the waters, which spreads out its roots by a river and will not fear when heat comes, but its leaf will be green and will not be anxious in the year of drought, nor will cease from yielding fruit. And so I just love what it says here. So first of all, It's going to be hard. If you're going to try and do it yourself this year, if you're going to try and make it happen and strive and work it out, it's going to be hard. It's not fitting on you. It's going to be like you're trying to grow a shrub in a desert. But if you wait on the Lord, if you look to Him, if you put your hope and your trust in Him, and that doesn't mean immediately you have the answer. Sometimes it means waiting on Him. Hoping and trusting can mean even just waiting, looking to Him for a moment. It might, there might be drought. It might be hard. But you will yield fruit. Even when it's dry all around, even when there's um, recession all around, you are going to yield fruit. You are going to come out blessed when you wait on the Lord, when you look to the Lord, when you do it by His Spirit. And this is what the Lord has spoken over us this year. And so I really want to encourage you to just make some room for grace. Make some room for Jesus. And I know like right now it feels like you can't do too much. But don't occupy the time stressing, striving, trying to work it out in yourself. Spend it leaning into the Spirit trusting, looking to God. And how do you do that? And I really like looked at my own life and when it's tough, what do I do? How do I lean into the Spirit? How do I do it by His Spirit? And I, it really, it's, it's a couple of things. It's, it's praising Him. The heart of the storm, when we've gone through some real challenges in our lives, I turn on the praise. I turn it on in my home 
I let worship play in my house and I let it fill the atmosphere. I do not let the news channel be playing constantly in my house. Every time I get in the car, the radio, more negative news. I stick on worship and I let that be my war cry in the season, in the battle. Praise Him, worship Him. Let His presence surround you and fill the atmosphere. When you sense His presence, it changes things. It shifts your focus. And the Word. I know sometimes we can just be so busy with everything that's going on, but do not neglect listening, hearing the Word, being in the Word, opening your Bible. We are needing that washing of the Word to refresh us, a fresh anointing. And pray, pray. And that doesn't mean I have an hour session praying. Talk to God, talk to Him in your car, in your shower, while you're cooking, while you're typing up a letter, whatever it is, talk to Him. That's prayer. And prayer is giving it to God. Give Him your worries, give Him your cares, your desires, your stress. Give it to Him. He is there to carry it for you. And I really believe being washed by the word, speaking to God, giving him your cares and praising him. There's no way you're going to do it by your flesh because you will sense his love. You will sense provision. You will sense victory. You will hear his voice. And so make room. And there might be room, but don't occupy it. With flesh, don't occupy it with works, occupy it with his spirit, his voice, his word in Jesus' name. He is with you, he is with us. He is so close to us right now. He is not caught off guard with everything that is going on in the world right now. He is with us and he will lead us and show us where he needs us to be so that he can bless us, provide for us, that we can be at peace and have joy and have joy in our homes and joy in our hearts. Even in this season, we're going to come out bearing fruit in Jesus' name. So let's partake together today of communion. Take your juice and your bread. And let's just remember, we have victory today. We need to do this often. We need to be reminded often. And if you need to do it a couple of times a day, then do it. Because our flesh does want to rise up. When we hear, hear stories, when we hear the news, your flesh wants to freak out. So if you need to do this more often than once a day, then so be it. But be reminded you are provided for. You are covered, you are healed, you are whole, and you have victory. Jesus paid the price. He has gone ahead of you. So let's remember today and let's receive. So take the bread and repeat after me. Thank you, Jesus, for your broken body that was broken for me. For every circumstance, every sickness, for every virus that could ever exist, you paid the price on your body, in your broken body that I can be set free, I can be healed, and I can be whole. And this represents me, my home, and my family. Thank you, Jesus. Now break the bread and eat. And we lift up the, the juice, his blood, and repeat after me. Thank you, Jesus, for your blood that you poured out so that I could be loved, forgiven, covered, protected. I thank you, Jesus, as we receive today, we are reminded that we are fully forgiven. We are made white as snow. No room for condemnation. No room for being hard on ourselves. No room for stepping into works. We are provided for in your blood. Covered, protected. Our homes covered, protected. 
In Jesus' name, receive it. Amen. God is so good. He is so good. And I just pray you just sense that you're provided for. Constantly remind yourself that He is fighting for you. He is with you. Lean into His Spirit. Let Him do the fighting and the working. You stand on victory ground because of Jesus. He loves you so much. So be blessed and we'll see you next time.